Let's get a thin. Um, hang on. I'm going to write it down in the right place so I won't lose it. Yeah? Oh, I see it's in my phone. Oh, shit, my brain is lacking today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just um, re-edit my name with this number and forget about the other one. Take the other one. Okay, 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 okay. Well? Keep it as confidential, of course, as you know, but... Yep, I'll keep it confidential. <laughs> Starting to do something now. Um, yeah, so, uh, the latest is that I've got the Paramount Chiefs of Sign in front of everybody that's um, gone through now. Is it? Yeah, yeah, they, no questions asked. And uh, now I can go and seize anything I want. Oh, yeah? With the Paramount Chiefs, yeah. I can seize it, I can do what I want now because they've uh, all gone behind us. That was an upper house meeting in the parliament. They, they transferred the 6th of February to there to put the upper house together for the flag. So uh, so the meeting was for the flag of the 1835. So I pulled in the 1834 side of the flag on the flip side and then they got a shock. I said, I'm not supposed to tell you any of this because it's the Freemasons, Manukau Moriori title. And because I'm going to tell you, you're all going to get your heads shot off with me. You see? And that's how it went down. They just froze up. I said, now you, you, now you know. Everybody knows online. Now you see the whakapapa of Mohi Manaka and me together with the Rogan to put the title together here. In 1831, Tiki Tiki, uh, Tiki Tiki Rahui Marai was where Captain Clem then went. He put the Okiato native title together in Russell. He put the Awaroa Title, native title together with Mohi Manukau's family and Mohi in Helensville and that was the title that made Auckland and then they, Clendon went down to Hicks Bay or got off his boat, his Admiralty Mag Magistrate Court, that's who he was, the Magistrate Crown Ownership Court to King William. Then he uh, went to, across to the church, got the registry with our names in it, our Wano names and everybody else's but I'm only talking for me. And that's 1831. That was the first title to the land over the other title in uh, Russell. That was 1834 in Russell. The land title, sales from Pomari, that sold the land to Clendon. And Clendon made the uh, land birth, birth register in that church, St. Mary's Church of England, the first church to be here, the first white man to, to be registered in this country is in that church. Which, and, which one is? Tiki Tiki, Tiki Tiki. Really? Yeah, that's the first church that was here that bought the birth certificate titles. I told them that they're in shock. I said, that's the certificate that's worth more than, than the land. And I said, they, Captain Clendon went from uh, Russell down to Auckland, picked up the Manukau title there, right? Because they married into the Wainors, uh, the Rogans married into the Wainors, just the magistrate, and married into the Wainors in Tiki Tiki. And that's my main marae. All the Wainuas are buried in there, Paramount Chiefs. And then got the registry from the uh, Tiki Tiki uh, uh, church, took it to Whakawhitira, that's below uh, Mount Hikarangi, as the title, the, the mountain title, to the North and South Island. And they put the native court there. Three native courts to Britain. That's the British title. I'm telling them, this is the British title to the whole world. Because that formed the basis of the precedent case of a native title. On this the books. Tiki Tiki, Tiki Tiki, everybody, East Coast, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, got, they've got the map there of all the years on it. The original map. With the years, and that one's got 1831 in Rangitukia where they landed, all the ships landed, uh, all the wakas, and, uh, and uh, uh, that's where they um, uh, put the register together because our people still got our land, that's why. We signed the register, the other ones in Napo and on the Waikato wouldn't. You see? Yeah. So only my, my tribe done, that's why we got 93% of our land sold, because that was the land registry court, which is the main native court in Gisborne now. 
it, it transferred to Gisborne, and that's running the whole country is that native court in Gisborne. Is it? Yeah. That's, that's currently, is that officially what it is? Yeah, that's when um, Apidana Nata put the, they, they took his history as gospel, but it's wrong. All the Nazi pro history, and then I said it's all wrong, it's been fabricated, and they threw off three of the uh, uh, family of uh, Mount Hikarangi, is Toi Kairako, the Cook Islander, and threw off and kept one for themselves, but I'm putting the whole four, five of them back up. And that established our title. That's where the, the uh, uh, New Zealand Australian, New South Wales and New Zealand government stole our Manukau title. Uh, at, uh, at the heads, Manukau heads. You see, what happened was, Tira Waikato Whareheri in Manukau and Hongi Hika went to England in 1820. Yeah. And there, uh, Hongi Hika learnt the uh, art of uh, British uh, conquering uh, lands and he got the muskets, he got everything from them to go back yeah. to New Zealand. And he wasn't mixed up with the land titles. This other guy, Waikato, was Manukau. So the British put this Manukau company together, registered in Edinburgh, uh, uh, in, Glasgow, uh, in, in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, and that's where all the titles in the world is made from, under this title, the Manukau Land Company title, right? Yeah. So the Scottish gentry, they're the land speculators and the bankers and everybody, they came on the ship and went to, and they bought the Manukau land from the Manukau over there resident, right? And he had a British passport. That's where the British passport come from. That's the citizenship we have from that chief, Paramount chief. That's what I told yeah. everybody at the Hui yesterday, our Saturday. Oh, yeah. I told him yeah. that Manukau title is all over the, the country. That's why I said to them that Mohi Manukau, the guy I spent a long time with, he told me what he's not supposed to in secrecy to the Freemasons he was 50 years in. So he was going around with his uncle selling land. That that uh, that was the money cow in Britain. That that uh, that they were selling the land in 1820 under that title. Yeah. All the way through to 1830, all the land was being sold in left, right, and centre under the British title, but it hadn't established a government yet. See. Okay. So yeah. when 1830 came, that's when King William became king, and that's. That's when things started to kick in being legal, right? Clinton so, became legal. So the government, the only thing option left for them now is to either um, demand that it stays on a government title, as it is, which would cause a hell of a, hell of a, heck of a uh, default. It is in default now to this king's title. Yeah. Because they, they're second hand, they're third party. So yeah. King King's two party contract with the Paramount, Mohi Manikau. <laughs> and me, I'm the executor. You see, they know now that it's me that didn't tell them anything, right up to now since Mohi died in two thousand eight. I've been hanging on to this without telling them, because Mohi didn't tell me not to tell them. He was trying to tell them in another way. You see? But he wouldn't tell them the secret because he's sworn to secrecy in the Freemasons Lucifer. Yeah, he got his, his silver bullet, that's what you call a silver bullet. He kept warning me about this silver bullet. I said, I'm not frightened of a silver bullet. And and I only thought, right, I'll drop it now. I was waiting for the chiefs to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. And as soon as I put the fucker up with me, our family, the Rogans, the Manukau's together, I said, this is the title to the whole fucking world. I said, it's only a magistrate court at the back room they put, the, they put the king in the back room and went to hell with the queen in the front room, in the courts. When they get stuck, when the judge gets stuck, when someone clever comes along in the court, he goes back into the king's bench, court silent, they made silent, and then he comes out with the king's uh, ruling from the magistrate court. See? Yeah, he, he's, he's acting in the district court, then, he'll, then it goes into the High Court, then it goes into the Supreme Court, then it goes into the King's Bench Court. They put you through all those hoops till you're broke. And then by the time you get to the King's Court, Admiralty, which is Admiralty, is private, nobody's business. That's what I said to them. It's nobody's business. So I picked the four chiefs in front of them, and I said, there's nothing you can do about it because it's up to me. You see? 
And so the, they now know I can go and shut them all down, shut the America down, shut the whole lot of them down with this flag. Hey? You could have already a pine box. Now. Yeah, no, no, I told them you're all going to get shot because you know now. Uh -huh. I said, no, everybody online, all, all, all the 1.5 billion uh, Facebook fans, they all know now. And all everybody on YouTube, I've got over 1,060 uh, uh, YouTube videos, video, they all know. Yeah. And everybody knows now the secret is out. That, that, that's not, it's not a secret anymore about how the bank was put together in Aurora and Helenville. The BNZ was the BNZ came out of the Aboriginal Bank, which was set up by this Manukau. And that was the trust that went into King William Trust and it went into Queen, Queen Victoria Trust. And where where all that golf came from the Queen Victoria Trust. And that's what I'm gonna use this uh, uh, demolition and and uh, control uh, writ warrant to go and seize all the land and destroy everything to get the gold back from Philippines. See, I was talking about that too. I said, that belongs to here. I, 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 I said, all, all, all that thing belongs to this, this Titi Marae now because it's, I've transferred from Russell that, that, uh, that native court into Waitangi, Waitangi uh, Marae court, then brought it over to Titi in the tent. I said, everything's in the tent, not in this Marae, in the tent. Beside the popos, you know, the, the, all those... Uh, ancestors, you go beside them. That, that's a memorial to the land, not in the, the Titi Marae, that's 1840. You see? We only go in there because we can't have a hui outside in the cold. But the, the memorial in that Marae belongs to the Crown Corporation, New South Wales. But the popos, those uh, memorials, and what we do in the tent over there, belong to the King. King over there, Queen in that in that 1840 contract. Two, two different contracts, two different jurisdictions. One is Admiralty private business, which is magistrate, and the other one is the uh, Crown Corporations, which is the New South Wales. Queen Elizabeth, the crook. See? Yeah. So they now know that I'm holding the bank in my hand from Helensville. The Awaroa Bank was taken over by the BNZ because they didn't have the money to buy the power notes from England. And so the BNZ printed, started printing the power notes. That's why the, 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 the Maori power note was, was, was gotten rid of, because it couldn't compete with, with the power note now coming straight from Britain through the BNZ. But the BNZ is started off, we can go and shut the BNZ down and take all the money off them now with this writ wire. <coughs> And at the moment, the uh, Philippines has got all that gold, even the one from New York. It's over there now, everybody knows. And so he's using, the, the, the president is using this writ, a writ warrant of demolition and, and uh, possession title, writ warrant, to seize the land back and seize the gold inside the land. You see? Yeah. So I'm putting this one right over the top of that one to seize the gold back out of there because it doesn't belong to him, it belongs to our, our King William Trust and King Queen Victoria Trust. We can prove it, I've got everything out now on a 65 page book that I took up there and got it signed with all, these things, with all these things I'm telling you. That's the title to the whole flipping world under the King's, uh, King's title back to King Solomon's Mines to William the Conqueror to William the Third that created the Bank of England and a pound note and I'm using all those instruments as a, a second party to the first party king. Yeah. Everybody else is the same. I said everybody else including Maori is the third party. Debtor. That's why they're all in debt. So now I, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take Cook Street now and get the Chinese contractors who build the Brim thing and I'll go and take the motel down and thing and then and, and soon Nikora's uh, told me that she's got funding for me to, to get me to, uh, to Westminster. So now I'm doing all the itinerary today to take these four chiefs, myself and nobody else, to Westminster. To go and claim that uh, Manukau title. Yeah, that's, that's the Manukau, the Manukau um, Moriori title. See, the Moriori's 
were living in the Chatham Islands, which was called Reku. That was a country. It was a country of the Moriori's, and they bought that Manukau name, the, the Turanga Gisborne name, the Turanga name here, all the names that came from there to here, not from here to there. The Maoris when they started dicking around, taking the name from here and saying they own it from here to there. No, I just shut them up at, the, at, the, at that uh, upper house meeting. I, I said, you, no one can claim that Manukau name because that's a Freemason's title. You, you, you muck around with that, you're going to get your head blown off. Yeah, because they own Mohi Manukau, they own him, and he's titled. All those paper certificates, all the birth certificates, uh, birth certificates, land title birth uh, uh, certificates, all those licenses, everything, belongs to the Scottish. Gentry, Gentry, who are the speculators, put it all together as instruments over the land. They might own the land, but this is security of investment over the land. Okay? It's, it's, there's two different things. One is, is the, they got the fucker puppet to the land, but, but these fellows are not worried about that. They only worry about shareholders. The, 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 the crown, only, the king only worries about shareholders on the land that, that he says he owns the certificates as a commercial landowner, not a native landowner, a commercial landowner. So now I've switched the native landowners into commercial landowners with this Rick Warren title. So now they are commercial landowners. For the first time on the 20th, uh, on Saturday, the, uh, the, the native, not Maori, you see they're getting rid of the Maori name now. And the, the government is bringing all the, the, the countries that involved in the war to New Zealand for a celebration on the 28th of October with this flag. They're claiming this flag. Which flag? Our one, the, the 1835. The government has invited all the countries in the Commonwealth to come here for a war, uh, war veteran celebration on the 28th of October. That's the day we, we always have our celebration. And the Crown put, had its men in beside the chiefs on the front, uh, the young fellows to, to, uh, that are fashioned by the Crown. They were standing there where the chiefs are, and that's where I should be standing with them. But they were standing, these young fellows, uh, they're trying to tell me what to do. You see? So, so, um, and the crown is mischief, but I said to them in front of those other taumata that they are there for the crown. And I said to King Key, you are the magistrate, Mike. You are the, the you are the, the title holder of this Manukau claim. You, because the Manukau family can't take it because it's none of their business. This is strictly business with the Freemasons. I said, it's the Freemasons that told Mohi and Mohi told me and I'm not supposed to tell you. So what's the use of it in my head? I was going to tell you anyway, because if you want anything of this fortune that belongs to him, then you better start doing something about it. And all silence. You see? Because now they know the truth. The truth is out. And so the court has no nothing, no, no case to answer. Because everybody knows that it's a Manukau title that's on this land. You see? And, and the bank started off on the Manukau land in, in, uh, in Helensville. That was the native court for Auckland there. Down to the east coast, the provincial titles went from Auckland to, to, uh, to East Cape. Yeah, that was all Auckland title. So they joined it up with this Clendon down there and, and up north on the same title that I put on with the receipts paid for the land. They've never seen that before. The, the, the Scots paid fee simple title back then in England before they came here. They paid it in Scotland for, for, the, for their title deeds. Deeds, right? And when they got here with their deeds, they said, where's our land? It was all bush. Because this New South Wales government sold the land to them over there. Well, it wasn't the company over there that sold the land. It wasn't the British company that sold the land. It was this New South Wales one. Yeah, they sold them a banana when they got here. But they had paid for the land over there, at the Manukau land, from that Manukau's chief, paramount chief over there. 
South Wales government, Wellington, they had consolidated the earlier titles from 1830 King William until King William died in 1837. That's where their titles started to change and pick up all the old titles and change them into a 1839 consolidated titles of the King into the Queen's title before 1840. You see? But the contract was already made in 1831 in the church in Tiki Tiki in 1831 with the Register, right? the Birth, Death and Marriages Register. That was all a stink up at that time that our, 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 our chiefs and family down there went with Britain and all the Waikato and all the Ngāpuis didn't at that time. They wouldn't, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't sign to it, so they were mucking around and they came out with the 1834 up there later with the flag and made the flag of New Zealand was that flag, the 18, 1834 flag was the flag of New Zealand from 1834 when they signed the contract and Pomare started and claimed them, put all his titles that he sold from 1820 into the 1834 native court in Okiata and Russell with Pomare, right? Yeah. Then that's when Referefa Manika was selling the lands with Pomare in Auckland. See, the Referefa Manika started selling the lands in 1862 after the 1861, they had some, some legislative acts <coughs> that connected the old Manukau title together and made it legal. Uh, and, and the transfer from Clendon titles uh, up, up there in readiness for the 1840 treaty. So the, the Treaty of Waitangi wasn't a founding document, it was already founded. See, 1833, uh, King William acknowledged that Captain Cook had found New Zealand in 1773, right? That's on a, a, a Tucker uh, watermark paper from Britain. That, that was the only paper you're allowed to make British agreements on. Well, when it came to the 1840 treaty, uh, um, what's his name uh, um, up there, Hobson, had written on this Tucker paper, on, not Hobson, uh, Clendon had written on this Tucker paper um, that's that's a British copyright, a British uh, print, copyright print paper, and the uh, the um, title of this Manukau title on there, and then the Crown New South Wales got rid of it. Then they made another one on paper that wasn't uh, uh, watermarked by Britain. And that's how, that's where they did the switch before the Treaty of Waitangi, and that's what's missing. Oh, yeah. That's why I was arguing all along, because Moi was telling me all along, make them put the Manukau name on the title in, in the Cook Street case. But th two times I registered and they, they declined, dis discharged it. And that was the offence, where they got the title from. See, they put the, they put the Ngāpui chief, the Tainui chiefs on there. They're not the Moriori's that the British picked. Yeah. Yeah? The, the chiefs that they've got, Tamaki, uh, Tinana and Kawao, on, on their title in Ngāti Whātua, in Ōraki, from, from Helensville, is not that original title in that native court over there. That, that the Manukau's put together. With Britain, with Rogan. The Rogan that married the Manukau over there, Ma Mariah, Ma Manukau married John Rogan, the, the judge magistrate, and the Dick Rogan magistrate married Oraiti Wano in my family at Tiki Tiki. Yeah. So the two Rogan families from Australia and here and Britain are Scots, right? The Freemasons. Yeah. So all the Freemasons were, was with Mohi Monaco in Helensville. And John Key is one of them. Is it yeah, they all live over there. John Key's house is up there in yeah. Kum Kumiu. So all of that lot was around this, this big thing with this secrecy yeah. in the Freemasons putting all these big big contracts together because that's all it is, contracts from the Magistrate Court direct. They get all the big jobs, the roading Hogan's and all that sort of thing. 
Yeah. They get all the contracts from the magistrate court because that's the that's the checkbook. That's that's the the, the king's king's business. And I'm running the king's business as a surrogate king. That's what they just got when I was talking uh, talking up there in front of them. It's all on video. I got it on YouTube. And so they can't mistake it because I'm using I'm citing everything with the YouTube as as being um, as being evidence cited. Cited fact, the evidence that they can't get out. See, no, no. and this fellow Helium, Noel Helium in 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 Dargaville, he's 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 been digging up the heads of of the Maori chiefs and sending them to England to research those tupinas up there, and that's that that's no not good because why why is he inspecting us uh, when he's he's he should have known, and he's going back further. Then 1840, he, he can't go back to 1840 because the treaty says that's all they can go to. We can go back further, uh, us with 1831 and 1834, but all the other immigrants can't. They're bound by the, they're bound by the treaty not to go back any further than 1840. So he goes and digs up the graves to find some information that the Scots were here first, and not the Maoris. See? So now the people at at, at Waitangi suddenly realise that. They're not Maori after all. <laughs> it, was just, it was just a dream. <laughs> I said, this belongs to you. What I'm saying belongs to you. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. And so they would get away with it. So I said, I'm not going to let anything get go away to, to, to the foreigners, the elite, anymore. I'll tell you now because it belongs to you. But, but they are happy about that, but how to do it, they don't know. They've got to have all the paperwork in place. See? None of them would have it. So the four chiefs I've got, one is Parapara, uh, uh, Mohini uh, Parapara. So he's a Manukau, he takes the Manukau title. Kingi, Kingi takes the Hongi Hika title. Right? Hongi Hika, Hika went to England, but he takes that title on the military side because he's military, right? He covers the uh, uh, navy side of the military, and he gets on well with all the military and everything. So, and the other fellow, Clark, uh, Selwyn Clark, what well, they call him now, um, Hedewini Kraka, and, and he he signed in, in his name Clark. The first time he's always signed as Hedewini Kraka, but on the document he signed as Clark because the Clarks were the the registers in those days. His family were the registers in, in the land courts. So he knew what that was all about, and he's the oldest fella, he's about 96, and King is 75 or something. Uh, so we've got the two oldest guys, the two most knowledgeable guys in the military, because the uh, thing was in the war too, um, um, uh, Selwyn Clark was in the war too, and he had a lot to say. So uh, he knew what this was all about. But they didn't realise that Mohi Manuka used to sit in the corner and just say nothing. They always want him to say something, but he, he, he wouldn't say anything. He just says the prayers and the ratana. And, and that's all they got. You see? Because he, he wasn't going to tell them what he was doing selling the lands. And he had no titles on there. I said, I said to them at the, at the hui, um, uh, Mohi, I said to Mohi, where's your land, Mohi? I've checked all the titles. There's no certificate with your name on it. And he says, yeah, it's all over there. There, you're looking at it. Uh, and and then I told them people, well, as far as he's concerned, the whole of New Zealand belongs to them, and he's 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 got proof of it. So that's what I'm telling you. Here's the proof. Here's the fucker papa here. So I pulled out the big long fucker papa, put it up, and says, right, that's it. See, I I had to do my thing in ten minutes. Did you? Yeah, I, they only gave me ten minutes. They they only gave the speakers ten minutes each. So oh, yeah. I had to rattle it off flat out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rail it off later. But I says, anyway, you go on the site, it's there now with a video explaining every one of 65 pages. And that's the cited. It's cited, the video is cited with that book that these four chiefs will sign. And we don't have to ask anybody for permission because it's British. You're stuck with the Queen and she's gone. You got no Queen, you got no shield, you got no nothing because she's gone. See? I said she's abandoned the ship of Admiralty, and this law is Admiralty. You're on the other side. You're in. You're you're mixed up in the Crown Corporation's business, in debt. See? Which will give you nowhere. Which will give you nowhere. You're going round, 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 
for the last 183 years with this flag since they gave the flag the flag of New Zealand. You see? So, it's called the runaround. Yeah, they get the runaround, but they still go for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they, they got all mixed up in their, their, their hui. All, all the 1835s, they started arguing after that. They started arguing and uh, about where, where to from here. So they're having another hui in August, but I'm going down to uh, uh, Tiki Tiki. I'm going to have a, a birth certificate, uh, marriage and death certificate hui for this title. That's, that, that, that forms the basis of the real title, of a real, real live person, not the dead earth. You see? So Napo is holding on to the dead earth title and the flag, but the money is in the birth certificate, the live person, in Tiki Tiki. Yeah. Yeah, with the church, with the church of England. That's where they started the parliaments from in the old days, in the church. Where it was originated. Yeah, and they always say prayers to, you know, Almighty God in the church. Oh, yeah. To all their documents to swear the truth. You see? Yeah. But in the Freemasons law, there's nothing, no, no deeds of truth. You see? They only, they only got a myth. They have myths in their oath. And they say, um, um, they are, their oath is to better the, the man or woman you are to, to what you were. That means you're better at fraud. You can do what you like, so long as you tell the other people to mind their own business and you mind your own. But you, you, you've got all these symbols to protect your what you're doing, oh, yeah. whether it's bad or good. That they, they, they are allowed to do what they want and break the laws, because they're in charge of that too. Yeah. See, because they've got the certificate of interest of land, and everything that happens on land has to go through them. But this is what happened. Because Scotland was going to pull out and go into the EU Parliament and break off from Britain, they must have seen what I'm writing. When they go, all that information and titles belongs to Britain in Westminster. They can't take it with them. You see? Yeah. They can't go into the EU Parliament and use those titles. Right. Because I've just blocked them off with this. As a second party, they are a third party. They are a third party because they haven't got a contract with, with, the, with the British. Uh, crown and the native. Everything's native on native land where they're doing their business. It's alright in Scotland, they can do what they like there, but not on native land. In the Commonwealth or all the other countries, there's 38 left now of, of countries under the British Crown. Out of all the other titles, but all the business being made with the Queen's head on it in the world uh, through the Vatican and they joined up the church with the, with the Church of England, the St. Mary's Church. Now, they're liable to us, the Pope, and his papal bull title is liable to us now that the two churches are joined. And I got that on video too, that's when they slid the, the Catholic Church across the road in Parnell and put it beside the St. Mary's Church in, in Parnell. That St. Mary's Church is, is, is subject to the Tiki Tiki one, which was there first, right? That's the founding of this country's church is in Tiki Tiki. The St. Mary's Church came second in, in Parnell after the one in Tiki Tiki that opened the way for all the birth certificate title in this country. And that's what I'm using, the birth certificate over, over the bonds in New York, which is what uh, King William set up 50 years. He, he, he spent, he, he was in the Navy, because everything's Navy, Admiralty, Magistrate, Court, right? And so that's the Crown's real estate company. Is the magistrate court judge in the back room, right? yeah. or under the ship in the bottom, yeah. hidden away with the flag? This flag, he's hiding the flag away with him underneath the bottom of the ship. When they're on those luxury ships, they got the admiralty court underneath. Yeah. In the hull, where they're making all the money in the casinos up the top, they're robbing all the people and putting the money in the bank at the bottom with yeah. the gold, with all the gold they steal off the people up the top in, yeah. in certificates, right? They go and gamble on the top. At the bottom, you got these gentry people, these Freemasons at the bottom, running all the business, stealing all the money off them. See, and all their land while they're on the ship, they're they're seeking out their land and putting putting uh, putting instruments over their land and their mansions, ready for them to die and make them die. See, they're going to kill them and then seize the land. You see what happens with a writ warrant like this, a demolition. 
and position order risk. It means they can demolish you with bombs or anything and dig anything out of the ground and take it. Yeah. That's what that's what I've written up. I'm following the, the Philippines one because of the way they did it for the gold. So now I can use that on anybody to seize everything and the land and everything stuck to it. See? So I've been successful so far right up to that point of getting the four chiefs to sign it, the right one. I got the right ones to sign it, not not all the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah? And the other ones are just spellbound with their mouths open, wondering where the hell did that come from? Yeah, they've just been, just been walloped. Eh? They've just been walloped. Yeah, they've been walloped because of the law. Yeah. And they, they, they didn't realise that flagpole on the other side was an actual ship of Britain, the only one in the world that's, that's, a, that's a British naval ship of a king beside a Marae native court. I told them that's the most powerful court in the world is that one over there. The native, the native court. That one over there for all the native countries in the world. Yeah. Where, where the crown is gone is that one. You won't find it anywhere else. You won't find that anywhere else. And they've hidden it here. See, now they know they're going to go start bitching and go and bang somebody's head. They're going to bang the Runanga's head and the, the Iwi Maori's head and say, you've crooked us. See? Yeah, yeah. And, and they, we're having another meeting in August, back there again. But this time I would have had the result of the Cook Street and ready to take the rest of it. But I said, no, we're going to take it one by one, let them govern in, in Wellington, and, and so we can bleed them to death one by one. See? And then get rid of them. And then get rid of them. Yeah. But I said we are dual government with Britain using our own law, the, the King William's Laws, 1830 to 1837. That's only 19 A4 pages. That's all the laws are. 19 A4 pages, that's what I said. And, and King, uh, King William III's laws, because that's got the bank in it and the, and the power note from 1650 to 1702. So we're using those two sets of laws, which is not many laws. And they haven't been screwed up. See? They haven't, they haven't been caught. It's no use going to Westminster and, and going as a, a dual government in there. I'm going dual government in Plymouth over there to Plymouth here and Devon over there to Devonport here. You see? And, and that's, that's King William's estate land is Devon and Plymouth. That's all his county there. That's all his land. And so I'm going to sit myself on there, set up everything there to put the asset on Westminster from there. Straight to, straight to the World Court because that's King William the Third, King William the Fourth property, land, country, where the World Court is. We can throw them into there. Once I, once I get the money, Sue's, Sue's uh, jacking everything up now. She, she, she's going to let me know today or tomorrow. I, I, get, I get whatever I want. And so I just get enough. I, I'm just getting enough from her to, to fire up Cook Street. Then, I'll get, then we're on our way. She says, I'm going to give you some money. But don't forget about us when you get yours. And that's what she says. She says, I know you're going to get a lot, but don't, don't forget about us. You see, she's never, never talked like that before because she understands this now. Yeah. She was there. At, at, she was there. We had a meeting afterwards with, with the Paramount Chiefs and her. And so she's, I said, look, so you've got to look after the 1835 part of the flag, but that has nothing to do with the 1834 flag. Don't forget, we can shut the whole lot down. But we're not going to shut it down. We're going to let them bleed them to death. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Bleed them. If you, if you shut them down, they can get away with it. Yeah, that's right. They'll just, they'll all be in. Yeah, they'll, they'll walk they'll off. Wipe yeah, wipe out and they'll run. Yeah. But if you leave them in business and plug the businesses off one by one, that, that's the yeah. only way you get the money back because you identify them on the land. Yeah. See, on, on all the indigenous lands, they'll be doing the same too. They'll be, uh, they'll be going around checking all the land titles. And that's why I'm going to Scotland for it, to check all the land titles, what the Scots put together. Yeah. I'll make a, cut a deal with the Scots and, and with the Freemasons, I'll cut a deal with them. And, yeah. and say, look, you, you didn't tell us um, you know, about how you operate because you're in secret. We're not, we've got deeds of truth. So we're going to cut a deal with you and keep you going, but we're going to take most of it back. And, and, and leave you because you're still subject to Westminster and we're taking over Westminster and the Queen and booting her out. 
They're going to put put their own king in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm I'm setting up to do there. So so I'm just doing my the itinerary today, and and shucks, I don't know where to start from, and uh, because I've got to find where we're going to go, the movements around. And, uh, and you know, going to Westminster, then going to Plymouth, then all the, all the travel and accommodation. So I'll just get Travago or somebody to to uh, organise all, all all the trips between hotels for six people. Uh, and and the meetings and whatnot. See, I've got still got to arrange all that over there. Yeah. Uh, but I'll just tentatively put a figure together for Sue in the costing of of taking a delegation to there for about two or three weeks. And still gotta, I've still got to go to the World Court and um, and go and see them there for the King William thing to take this title. In the meantime, I'm just going to email it off to them. I'm just going to photocopy all the uh, photo print, screen print all, all the book and the signatures and send it off to, um, to Theresa May and to the Navy there. Because uh, I've been sending things to, to them all, the time, all along. Yeah, they've been ignoring, but but not now. Not now. They, they won't ignore because this the, the Marai has every right to to step in now. Yeah. Because of that contract, it's it's still a contract. Everything's still a contract. Yeah. And it is a contract uh, that makes us uh, legitimate uh, to be right. there. And we have our king over there, King Ernest Augustus, to to put in to, to put in because he is he is the king of Britain, UK. But the Queen and her mob switched it, switched, switched it, and so we just put him back in to keep us going. It, otherwise, the Queen can get rid of the flag. But they, they, they're just going this last bit to steal it with King uh, well, Prince William. But when William came here, he didn't come and see the chiefs about this flag because the chiefs were wanting him to come to Waitangi to see them, but he didn't because the government here stopped them. And he's not a bloodline. He's a Spanish father. Is he? Yeah, he's he's he's, he's Carlos, Carlos. Um, what's his name? Uh, the King of Spain. Uh, um, uh, and 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 his brother is, is not a real brother. He's Hewitt. He's a Hewitt. They are the other red-headed father, Harry. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. The the, the 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 family is never true. And Prince William. It's down the King George the Sixth, King George the the First or the Second line, which is nothing to do with the King William, the uh, 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 King George the Third and King George the Fourth. Nothing to do with that that bloodline. See, so they can't come near that bloodline and ask the contract. They haven't got a contract. It's, nobody's got a contract except us, with King George the Fourth, King George the Third, the father of the King George the Fourth. King William IV and King Ernest Augustus I. That's the father, King George III, that founded America. So William went over there. We got all the proof that William was there for up to 50 years uh, uh, setting up the stock exchange. So those birth certificates we did in Tiki Tiki went straight onto that New York stock exchange, fresh with King William IV the, the, the in 1830. As soon as he took up the king's role, those birth certificates in 1831 straight straight into the stock market. There, there, he 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 did that. You see? Yeah, that was a security for for funding this country. Yeah. Yep, from our birth certificate, the Wanoa, and the car, the C A R R, changed the name to K A A, Maori. And and uh, and in the church, St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki. See, because it was too wild up north. They were fighting like hell in Waikato. Yeah. The Manukau's were, they were fighting against each other yeah. and not at the east coast. So the, the British went straight to the east coast to set up the church side yeah. of the registry of births and deaths and marriages and took it to the mountain, which is the title, to this country, the Hikurangi mountain. Beside it, there's another mountain, beside it, a, a smaller one, and that's yeah. called Aorangi. That's Aoraki. It's Aorangi, it's, it's Aoraki. Uh, that's, that's the Cook Island name. And Aoraki there, uh, is the South Island Mount Cook is Aoraki. See, Cook, Cook, title, Cook. Uh, 1773 title, Cook. And Aoraki, 
to Raki Taranaki. That's Raki. Taranaki is Raki, and and the, and the, the country where those names came from is Reku in in Chatham Islands. Reku, right? Right? And the Chathams, those 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 names, and Gisborne is Lord Gisborne and and Lord Auckland. Those all go around these titles. See, all the lords are around these titles. Right. And no one else can do that. No, no one else can come near that. That's it. That's not even the Moai yet. That, that, that's not even. I said we got a Moai crown that beats the, the other crown out of the road commercially because Queen Victoria picked up the first Moai and made it commercial. In 1868, Moai became commercial. They took that crown title off his head, that hat on his head, and turned it into a crown for political and commercial titles. Right. That's a, a Moai crown, and not the old, old crowns. This was a brand new crown. Yeah. Yeah, brand new, brand new crown that was money in it. N not, not, not the old stone things, but the new stone way of making titles out of memorials. Yep. Otherwise they would have got a Buddha instead, but the Buddha didn't have this value in it of the Sun Ra and all the rest. Uh, of, of, uh, that's why all those big countries, France, Belgium, see the Moais in Belgium in that world court. I, I go there, well, well I'm here with these chiefs that belong to that title. See? Oh, yeah. It's in New York that they placed them there. And, and in uh, uh, Washington DC, the Moais standing, real ones, are standing there only in these countries, French, France, and Dunedin and Auckland. Dunedin, the Moai's got his hat on his head. That's the only one with a hat on his head in Dunedin, for, for goodness sake. That's where all the, all the French and the Europeans went, down there. They, they stayed away from North Island because it was too bad. See? Yeah. So that's how the titles made uh, that the British picked. They didn't pick that one and that one and that one over there that they're arguing about and having treaty claims about, claiming this and that. See? Yeah. Instead of telling the truth that it's a Manukau title, that's what I was trying to do in, in uh, Mohi Manukau's treaty claim. When yeah. we went to court, I said to, to the, uh, Rachel Holbrook, she was working for the OTS, of Treaty Settlements, I said to her, look, you can't stop this man here from going back to 1835 because that's his title. It's his birth certificate. Look, it says 1830. I had a birth certificate of Manukau on it from Britain, 1830, 1831, 1833. 1834, those birth titles, I put it in front of her and said, no, you can't stop because he's saying to you, I was here and you people came later. And you're trying to find your way, trying to research us to get you a title. We already got a title and we're already being founded by Cook and by, uh, by, uh, by uh, that flag. And why did you change our flag from 1835? I was talking 35 then, but now I'm talking 34. Oh, yeah. See? The, the 30, 35 flag got corrupted. It, it got legislated out. That's what, that's what uh, Charles Hirschfeld said to me. He said, John, you're wasting your time. The flag's got no legal in it. You've got to put the legal in it. To get that done, you have to go back down to government and get it off them. So um, to undo that, you have to go and undo all the treaty. Yeah. And they did that for that reason, that it was impossible to go and undo it. Yeah. So I've gone straight to, back to where the... The, the, the British uh, opened up the first government up in Kororareka, up in, in Russell. That was the first British government opened there. And then they blew that lot up because Honehika dropped their flag down four times. So they shifted that government entity down to Auckland. Yeah. And then they bought that bank, uh, the Awaroa Bank, from there to Auckland. Opened that up in, in the BNZ. The BNZ took over the Awaroa Bank in Helens that the Manukau set up with the Rogans in the Magistrate Court, right? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. And so the BNZ printed the money because the other one couldn't and then that's what formed started making Auckland with Lord Auckland. And the Manukau title, they took the Simons, Simons, uh, uh, Lef, Lef, Lieutenant William Simons was the Magistrate in, in, in uh, uh, Edinburgh, right? He put the, he was the Crown's a uh, real estate agent. So he put the title together and gave it to his son, William Cornwallis Simons, and that's the guy that came with those Scottish to, to Pupunga, 
uh, par at the uh, Manukau Heaps. And when they got there, the government here had had told them, no, you go to Avondale um, because there's no titles surveyed yet. And yet they were sold titles from here, from those New South Wales to those ones in Britain, the Scottish to come here. Because they only wanted those those surveyors, land surveyors, bankers and, and gentry men, what they call Scottish gentry, and the Freemasons. They only wanted those ones uh, uh, to come and then they duped them when they got here. They duped them and so now you've got to go there because you're in New Zealand now and, and you go on our law. You see? Yeah. And instead of fighting that, they, they just shifted over. And once they signed the document to shift over, because they had already surveyed the land in Avondale, the New Zealand had surveyed the land, and they, yet they sold the land in Manukau to get to get them to come to a land that's not surveyed. You see? You see the fraud? As soon as they got there, they swiped the Manukau title. So that's what I'm doing. I've been trying to get it back yeah. for Mohi, and, and Mohi said, look, I said, Mohi, I can't see any of your titles. That's what I told those people up north at the Hui. I said, I asked Mohi Monica, where's your land? I can't even find your titles because I'm working real estate. Where's your titles? And he says, you're looking at it. It's all over there in front of you, which means the whole country. And um, he says, don't worry, you know, it'll all come back. And I said, well, how do you explain that? You know, how, how can I go and tell everybody, oh, it's got to come back just like that? Yeah, yeah. well, who's going to listen to that? Unless well, can... they knew he was selling the land because they, they, they spied on him with the pig in his hand, you know, the pole, with his grandfather, uh, 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 John Rogan, selling the land. Then they go back in the court and, and put the land through. As, as instruments, and this, uh, this is what I told him. All this time, Moi was part of this uh, uh, Freemason with his stake of his claim in money in, 